morning, everyone. And welcome to Holy Rosary Church, Mary Mother of God Parish, as we continue to wind down our Lenten journey uh, as we celebrate the sacred mysteries of our faith. We begin in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Thank you. Let us call to mind our own false feelings and sins and know the loving mercy of the Lord. Jesus, you are the God of freedom. Lord, have mercy. Jesus, you are the God of salvation. Christ, have mercy. God, Lord Jesus, you are the God of hope and life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Enlighten, O God, of compassion, the hearts of your children sanctified by penance, and in your kindness grant those who dare to a sense of devotion a gracious hearing when they cry out to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. King King Nebuchadnezzar said, is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you will not serve my God or worship the golden statue that I have set up? Be ready now to fall down and worship the statue I have made. Whenever you hear the sound of the trumpet, flute, lyre, harp, psaltery, bagpipe, and all the other musical instruments. Otherwise, you shall be instantly cast into the white hot furnace. And who is this God who can deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego answered King Nebuchadnezzar, there is no need for us to defend ourselves against you in this matter. If our God whom we serve can save us from the white hot furnace and from your hands, O King, may he save us. But even if he will not know, O king, that we will not worship your God or worship the golden statue that you have set up. King Nebuchadnezzar's face became livid with utter rage against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He ordered that the furnace be heated seven times more than usual and had some of the strongest men in his army bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and cast them into the white hot furnace. Nebuchadnezzar rose in haste and asked his nobles, Did we not cast three men bound into the fire? Assuredly, O king, they answered. But he replied, I see four men unfettered and unhurt, walking in the fire, and the fourth looks like the Son of God. Nebuchadnezzar exclaimed, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who sent his angel to deliver the servants who trusted him, they, obeyed the royal, they disobeyed the royal command and yielded their bodies rather than serve or worship any god except their own god. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, glory and praise forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name praiseworthy and exalted above all ages. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy holy glory, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you on the throne of the kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths and your throne upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious forever. Glory and praise forever.
The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to those Jews who believed in him, If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, We are descendants of Abraham and have never been enslaved to anyone. How can you say you will become free? Jesus answered them, In many men I say to you, everyone who commits sin is a slave to sin. A slave does not remain in the household forever, but a son always remains. So if the son frees you, then you will be truly free. I know that you are descendants of Abraham, but you are trying to kill me because my word has no room among you. I tell you what I have seen in the Father's presence and do what I have heard from the Father. They answered him and said, Our father is Abraham. Jesus said to them, If you were Abraham's children, you would be doing the works of Abraham. But now you are trying to kill me, a man who has told you the truth and that I heard from God. Abraham did not do this. But you are trying to do the works, you are doing the works of your father. So they said to him, We are not born of fornication. We have one father, God. And Jesus said to them, If God were your father, you would love me, for I came from God and am here. I did not come on my own, but he sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. If you're truly my disciples, you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. The Jews were so adamant on clinging to their past scriptures and promises and allegiance to Abraham that they had little or no room in their hearts, nor in their minds, to allow for God to speak to them a new revelation, a revelation of truth that sets them free from sin. And Jesus is that truth. I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father except through me. For the Jew of his day, their father was Abraham. And they continually stick to that particular uh, uh, mode rather than allow Jesus to speak to them a new revelation of God being present among men through himself. That Jesus is the hand that God extends to sinners. They must hear the truth and open their hearts and be set free from sin. In that first reading today, uh, Chadrach, Meshach, Abednego held to the truth that they are servants of Yahweh and they would not worship Nebuchadnezzar, the king, nor his idols. And they were willing to go into this tremendously hot furnace and, and, and give their lives up for their beliefs because they, they, were, they found the truth in God. And we see that nothing happened to them. God protected them. And they not, not a hair of their head was, was burnt, not their clothing, their flesh, nothing. And they came out as good, if not even better, than when they went into that hot furnace. And finally, it, it, it was pervasive upon the king to say that the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego is the true God, and uh, they have found him. So we worship the true God as well. There is, is that episode with the white hot, hot furnace seems to be a kind of a miracle, and yes, it is, that God was with those young men uh, because because of their fidelity to the, the truth. And Mari Berta, in the, her, her little meditation today, 
speaks that, uh, you know, uh, with God, all things are possible. Just as the angel spoke to our blessed mother, uh, you know, telling her she was to be the mother, how can this be? With man, it's impossible. With God, all things are possible. And with the burning of, uh, of the young men in the furnace, they were not scorched at all. With God, all things are possible. And what Jesus is telling us today in the gospel, with God, with his truth, all things are possible, including the renunciation of sin. Saint uh, John Vianney, who was a patron saint of parish priests, said, our sins are like little pebbles of sand next to the mountain of God's mercy. What a beautiful vision that is. Our sins that we worry over so much. He said they're like little pebbles of sand next to the mountain, the great mountain of God's mercy. And that's what we think about and that guides our journey through the rest of Lent. May I invite you to stand now and together let us offer our prayers and petitions to the Lord. The response, the response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who preach the gospel, may they be instruments of God's grace and beacons of his love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world peace and the end of the world, the war in Ukraine, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the containment and eradication of the COVID-19 virus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of those who asked us to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Mr. and Mrs. Richard Gahan, for whom this Mass is being offered, may they be at peace with God, we praise the, pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother, who accompanies us on our journey through Lent that we may seek her powerful intercession as well. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins, now and in the hour of our death. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given in human hands I made, it will become for us the bread of life. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this wine to offer, Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humbled and contrite hearts. And Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Let us who have been set free by the truth of Jesus pray that your sacrifice and mine this morning will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Receive back, O Lord, the sacrificial offerings which you have given to be offered to the honor of your name and grant that they may become for us remedies for our healing through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
Truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. Through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received the heart to confess the, the infinite power of your majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all of the angels and saints, we too give you great praise as in exaltation we all acclaim, holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. The mission will continue with the second Eucharistic prayer of reconciliation. Therefore, Almighty Father, be blessed with Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He is the Word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way in which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you to sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, with whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when he was about to give up his life to set us free, and he, had, and, and he reclined at supper, and he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. A similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands. Confessing your mercy, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of his death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very gift spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis our Pope, Joseph our Bishop, and all the bishops and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, your devoted spouse, and with all of your blessed apostles, martyrs, and saints, so it please you throughout the ages. Bring us to share with them, those who have died, the unending banquet of the new life and from the new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus says, you possess the truth, and the truth will set you free. So let us, as free people, Pray as Jesus himself has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Have you been set free from sin? Let us offer Christ's peace to one another. Lamb of God. Behold the word made flesh. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we this morning, called to the supper of the Lamb. Not worthy that you should come under my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
God has brought us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our sins. Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, bring us heavenly medicine, that they may purge all evil from our heart and strengthen us with eternal protection through Christ our Lord. Let us bow our heads for our Lenten blessing. Attend, Almighty God, to the prayers of your people, and as you endow them with the confident hope of your compassion, let them feel forever the effects of your mercy through Christ our Lord. And may Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day.